My name is Susie Norris, and I'd like to share my journey with you. I was never little growing up. The first time I was made fun of for being overweight was in second grade. Weight has always been an issue for me, but I was always athletic. After having three kids and a failed marriage, I ballooned. Had poor eating habits, and in my career, which is EMS, you eat on the run, you eat poor things, you eat fast, and you don't get a whole lot of exercise. I was the kind of person that always tried a lot of different diets, usually was successful for a few months, then they would fail. And then there came a point in my career where it was hard to get in the back of an ambulance, hard to treat patients, hard to drive. Uh, I was out of breath more than my patients I was trying to treat. It was hard to do my job. And I knew I needed to do something. My body was breaking down. I was watching TV one night and I saw a commercial for the bariatric program at Marietta Memorial. I saw that you could go get a consultation, watch a movie, see what programs they offered. It was for free. You just showed up and watched a movie. When I sat through the program, I immediately knew which type of surgery that I wanted and would probably be best for me, knowing me. And I started the process in June of 14, probably at my highest weight, right after I did the Biggest Loser race in Charleston. When making the decision to have this type of surgery and this type of lifestyle change. One of the most important decisions you can uh, make are the people that you are going to have support you. I was lucky. I have parents that have supported me since the day I was born to do anything I've ever wanted to do. They've been an example. I had an extremely supportive, I've got your back kind of husband, my late husband, which unfortunately uh, passed away nine months after my surgery and did not get to see my end result. By the time the day of the surgery came, I was so well prepared that there was no anxiety. I had no doubts. I knew exactly what was gonna happen and we went in and we did it. The difference of how easily I could walk, I could sit down, bend over and put my shoes on, got in a kayak under a weight limit and didn't sink. <laughs> Biking is it's, it's such a stress relief. I love to do it and now I can bike anywhere. Uh, there was um, a position on, on Facebook for this company that uh, was critical care but it was fine a in a helicopter. Um, for your evac and I thought I'm under the weight limit why not I'll put my application in and sure enough I did and I went and tested and well I got an interview and in August of last year I began my journey with air evac and took my first flight in October I am a uh, flight paramedic definitely the most satisfying job <laughs> yeah I really didn't know I'd like it as much as I Watch your diet, watch what you eat, know what you can and can't do, and that's stay active. So pick something that you like and stick with it. Well, I hope it inspires somebody else because I knew it would change my life. I had no idea how much. It's like going to the bank and asking for 50 bucks and they handed me a check for a million. Memorial Health System, expect more.